Bigger news, though. Doctor Who fans in Nigeria. All six of you. I thought it was Ethiopia. Go. In Nigeria. Go. All six Doctor Who, who, who I, fans. I did my info. I looked this up. In Nigeria, they have found several lost episodes from uh, the second Doctor. So they've been found. So somebody threw away these episodes. Somebody looked at them and said, these are so awful. Let's throw them away so that nobody ever sees them. So, and then somebody found Quick them. history that Doctor Who fans don't need to know. In the, uh, the early 70s, the BBC was filming on video and in, in tape and whatnot. And they decided to save some money. They would wipe their, uh, their film. Their masters. And reuse it. Oh. So they went through the archives, pulled them off the shelves, and bleached them or whatever you do, whatever the chemical process is, so they could use this film again. So the first like two seasons, pretty much completely gone. They just they didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And so, but luckily the sun never shines on the Brit or the sun never falls on the British Empire. And throughout the years, never sets on it. Never sets on it, falls on it, something like wow. that. Wow. <laughs> the British took over everything. Luckily for us in this particular instance, and they had outlying farm programs basically for their television in all kinds of well, I mean, third world countries. I think Nigeria probably falls underneath that. So they would send out canisters of film, mm -hmm. and these film canisters over the years just got lost, mm -hmm. flat out. You know, we they weren't meant to really come back. So over the years, you know, people have been tracking down lost film can actual legitimate celluloid film mm -hmm. where they've gone missing they have come up in what they call boot sales which is uh, our version of a yard sale kind of thing they've popped up in collector stuff so there so. you go yes yeah. so trunk sales um, and this one they happened to track down through um, just shipping like how many episodes out. did they find this time I believe that they found six wow six which completed one entire lost story arc mm -hmm. and one story arc because Doctor Who was done in a serial form so one story would be like six episodes, which would tell you one complete story. And so one of the most famous ones, The Web of Fear, is uh, now only missing one episode out of the whole thing. And it introduces one of the most popular characters, uh, Lethbridge Stewart. So it's a big find for Doctor Who fans, and it happens to come right at the 50th anniversary. And these things have already been, they, they held off on announcing it. Right. So they announced they found them. They had already remastered them, cleaned them up. They're available for sale on iTunes, like, right this second. Wow. So if you're a Doctor Who fan, one of the most famous episodes is now available, except missing one. Missing one episode out of the run. And they usually do, they've got the audio for almost everything. I don't know how that worked, but audio for some reason, I'm guessing that fans back in the day it's didn't have VHS. So they actually probably taped well, episodes. I don't think that, I think audio is recorded separately. Could it's be. Not, it's not embedded in the celluloid, in the celluloid? Film. all right yeah. so we got uh, we got the audio from it so what they typically do is so you can watch the whole thing is they will put in the um oh your audio portion with stills pictures of the characters and stuff like that but it's a big episode it's about yetis and stowmen and uh, famous stuff like that so cool. really cool most of the episodes featuring that doctor are gone and now we have them back so i'm really excited about that so big up for us doctor who fans okay what else you right. got Besides the Kokomo Con, I think we can just hit Kokomo Con one more time. I think would be good. Um, so oh wait, Kokomo, April, this just said, next, yes. you got some other events that aren't related to the Kokomo Con? I do. Probably not worth talking about. So nope, nope, next nope, week nope. we'll be back with more Geek Storm, Stop. featuring <laughs> more Kokomo Con updates and pictures Sean? and video and other fun stuff. We'll so, see you next time. No, I'm Sean won't. Hilton. This is April Thatcher. This is Mike Harrison. On behalf of Pepper Whistle and Downtown Kokomo. He just took a big hook and like, pulled you off the stage. Mm. That's wrong. You know, he complains about you not... not uh, we'll you know, see you next time. And everything and then doesn't, All right. Doesn't, Cut it. Doesn't, End it. Doesn't finish it. Kokomo Con. I'd like to hear what you have to say, April. <laughs>